Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome if you are new, welcome back if you are a current subscriber or viewer. Um, today we are gonna be doing something a little bit different. I promised you guys that I was gonna be adding some dehydrating to my channel and sure enough, we're gonna be doing some dehydrating today. So today we're gonna be dehydrating potatoes. Um, I'm gonna be using guidelines from my Excalibur book. I do have an Excalibur dehydrator. I have the nine tray with the clear door. Absolutely love it. So if you are in the market for a dehydrator, um, it is a fantastic one to get. It is on the pricier end, so I wouldn't invest in that unless dehydrating is something you're going to do on a regular basis. Um, there are ones out there that are less expensive, but I know the question has come up, are Excaliburs worth it? And yes, they are if you use them. So anyway, today we're going to be dehydrating potatoes. And like I said, I'm going to be using the guidelines in this book. You can also find dehydrating guidelines, of course, um, online at the National Center for Home Food Preservation. You can find um, the USDA guidelines by Googling USDA guidelines for dehydrating. Um, there's also um, dehydrating sections and the majority of your canning books. So lots of places to find great information. So Excalibur just states the obvious to make sure you select potatoes that are in good condition, all that. I'm gonna be dehydrating russets, but many varieties are good candidates for dehydrating. You wanna make sure that you wash them, all that. You can dehydrate them with the skins on. I'm gonna take the skins off. So I've started by peeling my potatoes and I have cut them in quarter inch slices. I'll show you one, about like that. To make this really easy for me, I enlisted the help of my food processor. So I just used my blade for thicker slices and went ahead, I cut them in half and then just put them through the food processor to make it really quick and easy to get my potatoes in quarter inch slices. But you don't have to slice them. You can do cut them French fry style. You can do circles. You can do chips. You can do and you can grate them. Now a tip that I have not tried yet, but my friend Cindy the big horse did tell me an easy way to have potatoes already prepped for you is to purchase frozen potatoes from the grocery store because they're already blanched um, and they're ready to go so you can certainly go that route if you don't want to do all of the prepping stuff first but I'm going to be dehydrating fresh potatoes so I washed them peeled them and then I had them sliced and now we need to blanch them. Now my book does state to steam blanch them for four to six minutes. I do not have a steamer and I'm not gonna invest in one just for dehydrating. So, and it's, I'm not a gadget girl. I don't like things in my kitchen that I don't use a lot. So I'm not gonna invest in a steamer. So I'm going to do it the old fashioned way by blanching them just as you would any vegetable um, for canning, freezing and all that. So we've done the first part. So now we are ready for blanching. So I'm going to bring you in close, show you how I would blanch them. And then we just put them on our dehydrating trays and put them in the dehydrator. We are going to check them at about the six hour mark. The length of time will depend on how humid your home is or the area you have your dehydrator. Uh, six hours is on the low end. It can take up to 10 hours, but that's on the high end of dehydrating. But of course, Lots of factors um, will affect that. How humid your home is, how thick you slice your potatoes, all those things are factors. So at the, about the six hour mark is when we're gonna start checking ours. Now, when I've done this in the past, mine were ready at about the six hour mark, but the very last time I did them, I cut them thinner and they were done at the six hour mark. This time I've cut them a little bit thicker, so it may take a little bit longer, but we'll see. So your blanching time is, I have found six minutes to be the magic number. Uh, Excalibur stated to steam them for four to six minutes. Again, that's gonna be dependent on how thick you cut them and all that. So we are going to blanch ours for six minutes. Blanching is important, you must do this step. If you don't, an Excalibur does state this. Without proper pre-treating, 
some potatoes may turn black during the drying process and I don't want my potatoes to turn black and as I've done my research that tends to be a common problem so blanching is a really important pre-treating step in your um, dehydrator book it will go over different options for pre-treating but for potatoes it is going to be steaming or blanching so I'm going to bring you in close we're going to get started with blanching okay so for blanching I start with a pot of rapidly boiling water and we are just going to take some of our potatoes you don't want to overfill your pot so I put in a couple of scoops of potatoes and then I put the lid back on and you want to keep an eye on it once they get back up to fully boiling then we can start timing by the way you do want to make sure that you keep your sliced potatoes in cold water so that they do not oxidize while you're doing the pre-treating okay once i get back up to a boil i remove my lid and then i start my processing time and we're going to let them boil for six minutes okay once your six minutes are up i remove the potatoes from our blanching water and put them in a ice water a bath of ice water we want to immediately stop the cooking process. Okay, once we've fished everyone out, then I go ahead and start a second batch. Some of these are black in the middle or brown in the middle. Get rid of those. lid on and then while those are coming up to temperature I fish out the first batch from the ice bath and then I just put them in another bowl full of cold water and continue on okay once you get your potatoes all blanched then it's time to load up your uh, dehydrator trays they can be um, fairly close together but you do want to give them some room you don't want any of them overlapping so like some of my potatoes had have some of those brown spots in the middle that won't hurt anything it's just aesthetics but if they bother you you can leave those out all right there we go and now it's time to load up our dehydrator okay guys welcome to my extended pantry which is also where i keep my dehydrator so i did uh, 12 really large potatoes and that gave me six trays full of potato slices so um, because I have room and I do this frequently, if I'm not filling my dehydrator, I do try to stagger my trays a little bit just to allow for more airflow. So I've done that. So now we want to set our dehydrator to 125 degrees. And I'm going to set my timer for eight hours. Now, I'm pretty sure I should be really close to them being done at around six hours, but I always set it for more time than I think that I'm going to need. So I'll bring you back when I start checking them. Probably I'll start checking them around the four hour mark, um, but they're probably not going to be done until closer to six. So anyway, I'll bring you back. Hey okay, guys, we are at the four hour mark. So let's take a look at our potatoes. They're starting to dry out around the edges, but they're still very flexible. So we're not there yet, but I'm thinking around the six hour mark, we should be pretty good. We want, we know that they are done when they are crisp. So we're gonna keep dehydrating and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, we are just about finished here, but I wanted to wrap up my video. I, I am gonna let them go just a little bit longer, but I wanna show you how, what we're looking for. See, it's very dried. It's very translucent and it should be crispy. 
that's what we want to hear we want it to be crispy but make sure that you check several pieces from different trays um, because Excalibur does make a note that if they're not fully dehydrated if there's any moisture left and then you go to store them it will cause the whole batch to mold so make sure that your whole batch is fully dried out like I said most of mine are like this but I have a few that need to go a little bit longer so I'm gonna gonna continue on here for about probably another 15 minutes to a half an hour but we are at the six six hour 15 minute mark so six and a half hours was about perfect is gonna be about perfect for me and then what I do is I just let them come completely cool and then I store mine in a mason jar um, they, they as you can tell they store beautifully so anyway these this is the half gallon size mason jars and they're really nice for storing your potatoes but stay tuned because in my next video we're gonna be doing a really fun recipe in a pantry prep with these so Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed dehydrating potatoes. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them for me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.